Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and to the Japanese campaign where I'm playing on. Uh, well, I'm basically testing my own mod, and I've already had some issues this morning where, of course, uh, the game got updated to 1.4.0.9, and I think I just did something wrong when I was uh, updating the mod, and I thought I'd broken the campaign, but I haven't. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> it's all fixed. Anyway, uh, war with Germany. Yes, excellent. Uh, obviously, we're capable of uh, doing whatever we need to do. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Right. Uh, we're still seven months away from Fuso and Shikishima being ready. So we're just going to immediately head over to the Yellow Sea. And see if we can't take Tsing Tao. Probably going to be very tricky at 80,000 tons. So I'm, what I might do is I might sit off uh, sit off the coast and see if we can generate some strike missions. Uh, there's nothing in there. So we should be able to. May might be easier to go for uh, the Caroline Islands. But... This is this is a really nice little prize. It gives us another little foothold um, on uh, on the Chinese mainland. So that's what I'm going to try and do. I haven't unlocked any other hulls, so you haven't missed any building. We're working away on 14-inch Mark One, so we will have those as an option. Um, wow, well, that's a fun tech, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but we are only two months away. Oh, yeah, this is a blank tech. For goodness sake. So, yeah, there's nothing... Uh, no designs in the offing just now. But uh, maybe this war will be short. We'll just have to wait and see. Right, welcome back. It's now March 1907. And I'm amazed. I had a really low chance uh, of taking this. It was like 13%. I was totally ready to go... Yeah, no, we didn't get to take it. I'm going to go invade the Carolines instead. But apparently, um, we just take it. So I'm going to go hit Saipan and take this off the Germans. Um, and I also think... Uh, are they not ready quite yet? Ah, they're still commissioning. Two months. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go off and uh, keep taking German possessions. And we'll take all the stuff on this side of the fold... And then we'll move over to the opposite side of the world, which isn't actually the opposite side of the world, and attack this stuff um, to expand our Pacific holdings and uh, basically boot the Germans out. See, I have, however, generated quite a lot of victory points, and this is simply from... Uh, there's been no strike missions or anything like that, but I, I've been sinking German transports, obviously trying to... Uh, get into uh, Sing Tao and it, they've just been sunk um, and that gives me quite a lot of victory points so yeah if you're playing a war and you're trying to use this mod and you're playing say Britain or France or any of the other European powers that have really big colonial holdings you need to keep an eye on your transport losses because if you've got a far-flung outpost and you're just losing loads and loads and loads of transports and you're not protecting them that's bad Anyway, uh, let the invasion continue. All right, uh, it's now July, and we've taken Saipan, which is very nice. And it also seems like the Americans send a fleet, and they're sitting right on top of us. I'm not quite sure what they're up to. They looks like they were helping us. We're not allied, but they are. Um, they are pro Japan. Well, actually, they're pro both. Wow, what the hell is this? foreign policy <laughs> anyway um if i can grab my fleet no because the u.s fleet is sitting on top of it stop it <laughs> anyway um if i can somehow get control of my ships again uh oh yeah i should have these guys on uh see control Control. Lovely. Um, yeah, so Fuso and Chikishima are out here helping with this. And uh, we... Well, actually, I need to get my fleet back. So I'm just going to end the turn and hope this fleet moves. 
Uh, give me a second. All right, uh, we've moved in range of Truk, which we're just getting a free smack against. Um, we didn't sink any of the transports. I kind of wish that these were manual battles again, because it'd be super easy to sink all those transports. Um, I don't know if there's a way to do that, though, uh, as a mod. Uh, I, do, I genuinely don't, but I actually preferred, preferred it... <laughs> I think when we did those battles manually, they were kind of fun. And if you're going to auto-resolve it, can you please auto-resolve it so that all the transports die? Anyway, um, yeah, let's start a naval invasion of the Caroline Islands. Because all of this stuff is very vulnerable because the Germans are quite busy at the moment. They're at war with Britain. Uh, which is the main thing. Uh, they're also at war with Spain and at war with China. So they definitely have things to be, you know, concerned about. Also, the border gore is uh, quite extreme. Uh, mostly, though, it's China. China is gobbling up a lot of stuff. And uh, that means that when we inevitably go to war with China, it's going to be tough because they're going to have they're going to have a lot of eco, a lot of money to throw at the problem. So yeah, that could be uh, could be interesting. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep invading. If the Germans aren't gonna send any any ships out to fight me, I can't really uh, do much about it. No, they don't have anything out here. Uh, where is the nearest German ship? Yeah, all the way over here in Emden. And they don't exactly have a huge navy either. So. Um, yeah, I guess we just get to take some free territory, which I'm not going to complain about. Right, see you in a moment. There we go. The Caroline Islands have fallen to the Jap Japanese Navy. Excellent. And no, it's not the army, because the army is useless. Army just 6 is only 69%. Uh, it was even lower than that uh, the last time I checked it. Uh, but... You know, building up capability, building up power. Let's hit the Bismarck Archipelago next. Uh, yes, it should be pretty easy. Uh, I have also moved the armoured cruisers down uh, back home. They're sitting here, just in case these uh, Soviet ships get any ideas in the Sea of Japan. And also, we don't we don't need them on operations. We have enough tonnage with the five battleships of the fleet, and uh, yeah, I could best guess I'll just get back to navally invading. All right, uh, we've taken the Bismarck Archipelago. Uh, the Germans, uh, the the threshold for peace now, by the way, is twenty thousand victory point difference. Um, just because you get more VP, so um, I increased that a little bit. Uh, so that wars basically won't end really, really quickly. And also, very unlikely that whatever you pick with, between agree or fight to the end is, is not going to happen. There is a small chance. I tried setting the chance to zero, uh, and it caused a problem where you couldn't press fight to the end. So that doesn't work. Uh, so it's like a 1% chance. Uh, okay, uh, let's go hit New Guinea instead. Uh, poor old Germans. They're just getting... Uh, it's getting focused down here. Uh, let's plop ourselves in the middle. I might be lucky. It might go into... Because it can generate around Friedrich Wilhelm's Hafen, or it can generate about around Herbert <laughs> Um Either of them. So, But, you know, we are expanding our empire, and that hopefully means that even though we're at war... No, it was still negative on GDP. Okay, yeah. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> we just need to be conquering. Conquering more stuff. <laughs> All the time. Um, yeah. Okay, we're getting in the new in cruisers. Yes, finally. Okay, so armored cruiser in four months. Oh, God. What? I don't get anything on Dreadnought Improvements 2 either. Oh, man. <laughs> Jeez. 
Oh, goodness me. Oh, I get destroy two. Okay, so we'll be doing some designing next turn. See you there. All right. Nope, I did not position the fleet correctly. So I'm just going to move them in. It shouldn't be too hard to take this. Uh, and then, as I said, we'll move over the fold and uh, we'll take the rest of the German Pacific positions. And then I'll be more than happy to talk peace with them. Uh because they won't have anything that I want anymore. Uh, they don't have anything over over here, do they? No. I mean, we could go and like attack Tanganyika, <laughs> which could be funny, but I, I don't really have the power projection to defend it. If um, you know, if we get into war with France, they'll be very easy for them to cut that off. So we don't want to uh, expand too much. But uh, I have to say, the Philippines. It's looking very interesting. Philippines, China, and French Indochina, all potential conquests that we can make. Anyway, uh, let's get designing a new destroyer, because we definitely need more to protect our new holdings. So that is absolutely perfect, right? What's our limit on destroyers at the moment? 1,100, lovely. Uh, do, do, do. Advanced tower. Uh, now, what are we using on the Shimakazes? Three inch guns. Now we have. Oh, Mark IVs. Yep. Definitely worth uh, keeping off with three inch guns, although they do look really weird. <laughs> Shoved on like that, but kind of here for it. Um, right, what speed do we need to go here? 33 and a half. Why don't we just go 32 so we're the same as the Shimakazis? Medium, medium, medium. Uh, still on coal, but at least we have turbines now. Right, how many funnels do I need? Two. Oh, that's a shame. The Shimakazi had. Four. I'm going to have three funnels. And I'm doing that um, for the extra range, mostly. Uh, extra range is very helpful uh, on a destroyer because you can't really carry more fuel very easily, but you can increase their engine efficiency to increase their range. So we'll do that. I don't think a three inch gun fits in the arm tower. It does. That looks ridiculous, so no. <laughs> Go with a regular rear tower. Twin torpedo launcher. And a couple of three-inch guns on the back. And there we go. So it's basically a Shimakaze, but has one less funnel and has slightly better guns, which means I might might be worth when these are finished refitting the Shimakazis to get those Mark IV three inches. That could be pretty good. Okay, Crip, uh, crip 1, Double Bottom Hole, Reinforced Bulkhead 1, Antifoot 2. Uh, base Fused, Cat Ballistics. Oh, that's new. Very fancy. Uh, this is also new. We're going to go... Screw it. Let's go Cordite. Cordite and TNT. I quite like that combination. We've got Pickrick and Dunite. Nah, I like the TNT. Uh, enhanced 19 inch torps, radio, rangefinder, and we're kind of done. Apart from the fact that these are ridiculously short weapons. Yeah, uh, what do you mean? Oh, come on. Don't be ridiculous. I seriously have to deal with teeny little 28 caliber barrels. Uh, what? The 31 caliber now? It's doing that weird thing. Oh well. We'll just go with that. I don't even know what caliber they are anymore. But um, they're as long as I can make them. 
We could actually put a little bit of armor on this ship. That's potentially interesting. Uh, yeah, not, not a lot, but a, a, a little bit. That's pretty nice. And then... Hmm... Maximum bulk kits, that would be a very nice thing to have. Yeah, we'll go ma just max bulk kits. Can we make them spacious? No. Nope. Just, uh, just a teeny little, uh, teeny little destroyer. But uh, destroyers are good. We're going to need more of them to help uh, protect transports, mostly. I think she looks good. All right, um, 9.9 .9 million. Okay, they're significantly more expensive. Yikes, they're almost as much as a Kitakami. That's inflation for you. Yikes. They will be a lot more effective than the Shimakazis, but oof. Uh, I can probably afford a few. What am I plus budget at the moment? 7 million. How much are these each? 1.4? Jesus. Okay, um, I'm just going to build 10. I know that's going to put me negative, but we do have some naval funds to spend. And, uh, yeah, we really do need more destroyers. More destroyers for sure. Uh, actually, there are destroyers aren't currently in use. And we have plenty of... Um, we have plenty of money. So what am I... Oh. Of course, I didn't think of that. The Mark IV gun doesn't fit. So the Shimikazes are locked out of a refit. Okay, well, in that case, we're, what we're effectively going to do then is replace the Shimikazes. So we'll... we'll uh, when the... Asanagis are ready, we will mothball these uh, and replace them. That is uh, sad. But, uh, you know, these things happen. Right, three months till we get a cruiser. Which, and I'll do that once I've seen whether our invasion here is successful or not. See you in a moment. Well, we're using XCOM percentages apparently. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I did get very lucky with Sing Tao, so I don't mind too much. We're just going to invade them again. Uh, politics. It was like a 93 or something. Uh. <laughs> oh, dear me. So we'll just do that again. But we also have another design that we can, uh, we can look at. So we unlocked uh, these two. So the Armored Cruiser 4... Which is a really ugly hull. And the large armoured cruiser. Now, this is much more interesting. Um, no, wait. We already had the uh, armoured cruiser 4. We've unlocked the large cruiser. This is a battle cruiser hull. Or, well, not really. It's just an enormous... It really is just an enormous armoured cruiser. So we have a regular-sized armoured cruiser that's incredibly slow but a nice hull and we have the large cruiser which is treading into battleship territory hmm interesting well, I mean I'm not limited I can I can do both um, I think the large armored cruiser would be the most obvious pick because it's basically a cut-down version of the Fusos that we have in terms of the hull design. But 19 and a half knots, that is it's quite slow. We might be able to push it to uh, 21. Let's, let's see if we can do that. Maybe we could do it, actually, if we lowered the beam and draft a little bit. Maybe that's how we can get away with it. 
But uh, let's get the engine set up first of all. Uh, auxiliary. Da, ba, da, da. Yeah, 73%. We could force the boilers. And then we're getting... Okay, what's what's the difference between going 18... Oh, no, 21. That's no, fine. Don't need to reduce the beam. That's perfectly acceptable. Uh, guns. Guns, 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 guns. So the Azumas had sevens, right? Yeah, the Mark Threes, but we have more Mark Three options now. In fact, all of the guns are Mark Threes. So the question is, do I want to stick with the seven inch gun that we've been using? Or do I want to try different caliber? Because we don't have triples or anything. Do you know what? I'm going to stick with the 7-inch gun. I know it's a very uh, underpowered choice on a ship like this. Could very easily be carrying probably like 9s. But I think, again, bearing in mind that we are a very traditional admiralty, you know, going from the Kanko to the Fuso, what they did was they took the guns, they and added a super firing pet on each end of the ship. So that's exactly what we're gonna do going from the Azumas to the Nishins. Now the Azumas had secondary threes, but yeah. Those don't carry three inch guns. What is the smallest they will carry? Fours. And the biggest is six. Hmm. Okay, that makes things a lot more complex. Because we're... Well, we do have the five-inch gun from the Kitakami. Hmm. Okay, cool. Let's use the... five-inch gun. Which we're probably going to want on a later destroyers anyway. So, a couple of... Uh, you know, we're pushing the boat out with one new thing. Which is... Well, and they're not technically new. But they are new to this extent. And that is using a 5-inch gun. Okay. I, I think that's enough newness. <laughs> right. Lengths. Uh, we could go for 45s. 45s and 40s. Yep, that would all be fine. And then, well, I guess we can build out the rest of the ship. Do, 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 do. Yeah, standard ratio. Now, Cordite 1 is quite a punchy uh, thing to be using. But yeah, look at that. Six inch. Oh, wait. I better check my armor quality is correct. Yep, it is good. So six inch of armor would be okay. But can we go up to seven? Because then it matches the caliber of the gun. So yes, we can. Good. Um, Right. Deck armor is not good in the... Just one and a half should be fine for now. HE, again, one and a half is going to be enough for these guys. What about their AP on the five inch gun? Three. Okay, let's go four and a half, uh, three inch, nine on the conning tower, and then a, a, a little bit of belt, inner belts, but not much. These are much heavier, by the way, uh, than you're maybe used to. You, you're not going to have super crazy layering. Because uh, layering is pretty effective. Uh, but, you know, you can have a little bit of layering, but these add to your weight quite significantly. Uh, yeah, let's go 9 inch on the turret, uh, 3 inch on the turret top, 9 inch on the barbet, no, 5 inch on the barbet. Casements, uh, 3 and 1.5, 1.5, 1.5. And we have 4%. 
weight remaining. Oh, I never even uh, went medium on everything. Okay, we've got lots. Lots remaining. That's perfect. Maximum bulkheads. Spacious. And max range? No. <laughs> Can't have everything. We can have improved range. And there we go. That is a that is a nice little ship. Definitely, uh, clearly of uh, Japanese design influence. Uh, sh will be a perfect escort for our uh, uh, Fusos, like and the Azumas and the Kankos can operate together. Um, cost uh, fifty eight. Yeah, that is very expensive. Way more expensive than the Zoomers. How many shall we build? I would like to build four. Basically so that we have two each for the... Uh, two each for the Fusos. But my... Yeah, well... We're not terrible in terms of the monthly balance, but it is wartime. Uh, well, we could probably cut back on... No, I'm not going to be able to cut back on crew training enough to get it positive, am I? Oh, I can. Okay, we'll go down to 50% crew training then. There we go. That's fine. Perfect. Right. Uh, well, we need to go invade somewhere, so let's do the fun and games of going the wrong way around the planet and hitting the Marshall Islands let's go do 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 right and uh, I'll see how that goes and I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll join you in a moment you don't have to say it in the comments <laughs> I realized as soon as I moved over it was like Japan starts a naval invasion of uh, of uh, New Guinea, and I was like, wait, I do? Didn't they already take... No, no, I failed to take New Guinea. But not anymore. German New Guinea has fallen. So now we can go across the fold and hit the Marshall Islands. I don't think I can launch the invasion already. Nope. Uh, but I will be able to next turn. Now, the other thing to look at is of course that uh, that large cruiser but given our budget constraints i don't really know what this is giving us it's objectively terrible compared to the dreadnought one it has 20 less resistance it is the same sp in fact it's slightly slower same speed worse stability worse floatability this this is garbage. This is an app, and a plus. It's the uh, von der Tan style hull, so there is absolutely no reason to use this hull. So uh, I'm going to go have a stern word with the designers of this, and uh, tell them to come up with something better. <laughs> um, rejected, <laughs> rejected your design. Go away. Don't like it. Uh, I do like the initiatives, though. Uh, so we have completed the Asanagis, which is great. So the Shimakazis, uh, they're all currently in port anyway. Um, I'm going to leave them here until the war ends, and then I'm going to mothball them. Uh, but we can swap these guys to sea control. And the Shimakazis... I'm going to switch to defense and our second second line ship. Uh, the Azumas and the Kankos, when I'm not navally invading, I'm going to put them together in a little kind of reserve fleet. Um, but uh, yeah, just back to invading. Okay, okay. Looks like my strong words. With uh, the design department, they have come back to us with a new design of a called battle cruiser. Let's have a look at the battle cruiser one. Maybe this is maybe this is not terrible. 
Ooh, no, it's not terrible. Good. Good. Yes, we can do. Ooh, 28 knots. That is. That, that is. Uh, yeah, well, we can try. Um, probably only build one of these for now, given that it's very experimental. This idea of a fast capital ship, but um, I like it. Uh, that is a teeny, teeny, tiny secondary tower. It's like a hilariously small secondary tower. Uh, let's grab a funnel. Yeah, I, th I think... Um, I think we might need more funnels than that. You need, even with a force boiler, yeah. We're going to need... <laughs> going to need... Uh, Another, uh, now, is there a way to... Okay. What about medium two? Okay, medium two and the uh, small funnel do actually match. Height-wise, they do look a little weird, but yeah, this should work. Okay, uh, gun choice. Now, I think, obviously, whilst we do have these 14-inch Mark IIs, we would be sticking with the traditional armament of a 12-inch gun. I'm just curious. Yeah, we could. So we could replicate the armament of the Fuso. Pretty much. But uh, put it, just make it faster. That has some appeal uh, as an experimental type of ship. Obviously, we have to be careful of dangerous experiments. Um. Yes, it's got a certain appeal to her. Now, Fuso had, yes, seven inch gun casements, but I think we're going to struggle with weight. So, we're going to go and just use three inches. So, that's one compromise, because obviously we're going to have to make some compromise to get the, the speed that we want. Uh,. Two, three, four, three, three, four, four kids. Standard shell ratio. TNT, yes, please. Cordite. Enhanced. Ooh, electrohydraulic turrets. Let's give those a try. And an advanced radio. Yeah, we're going to be needing at least 12 inches of armor. That gives us 10,000 meter range protection from the guns and a Three inch main deck to protect us from plunging fire. Now we know from looking at the other ships that about a three inch four and a half belt should be okay. Um, let's put 14 inch on the tower. Uh, yeah, I've gone over. 12 inch 40s and th Three inch forties, please. Oh, I can't get three inch forties. Fine, thirty eights. Uh, and this is complaining, but we should just be able to reseat it. There we go. Four percent overweight. Hmm. Okay. What is causing us the heaviness? The hull. Okay, um, fair enough. Fuel. Okay, so drop the range. Oh, 11 tons. Okay, let's shave down the inner belt to an inch. There we go. So there are some compromises here, especially compared to the Fuso, which has many bulkheads. This only has standard. Uh... Does it have less range? I think it does slightly less range. But it's faster and it's not quite as well predicted, but almost. 
So effectively being a fast battleship. Um, but yeah, we did have to make some compromises in here. It's not quite as well protected as we would like. And of course, the secondary armament is not as good. Uh, we don't have that kind of um, heavy battery of 7-inch guns like the Fusos do. This only has 3-inch guns. And I think, yeah, just build one of these, maybe. One of these, maybe two. Maybe two. What's their cost compared to a Fuso? They are a bit cheaper than a Fuso. They are a bit cheaper than a Fuso. Hmm, interesting. How many would Japan want of these? Do you know what? I think a pair. I think a pair. I think one-off ships, not such a good idea. Uh, we're going we're to go with a pair of these, I think. But I, I like them. I like this design. Again, definitely fitting our aesthetic. Um... Definitely fitting our design philosophy. You know, pushing the bow down a little bit. Experimenting a little bit. But, yeah. Uh, I like it. How do they compare to... What year is it? 1909. When did the Invincible launch? HMS in... Invincible. 1907. Yeah, so the, the Invincibles have been around for a while already. Uh, when were they commissioned? Nope. I clicked on the wrong button. Invincible class. Mm -hmm. uh, in service from 1908. So we've seen them existing in the world. <laughs> uh, how, do, how do we compare on the essentials? We have superior range, same same armament. Uh, they have slightly heavier secondary battery with four inch guns, but we've got much better armor at twelve inch rather than six. Cool. Uh, when did the Indefatigables get launched? Nineteen oh nine. They started construction. So compared to an indie. Well, we're, we're significantly heavier than an Indy, but we're faster, less range, slightly less in the way of secondary guns, but more armor. So yeah, they seem they seem okay to me. Very nice. Okay, yes, we're going to build two, and uh, again, by, by the budget, uh, shipbuilding is expensive. I can dip into my naval funds now, though, uh, and I think I should. Uh, we we have the money, so we might as well use it up. And I am, of course, doing quite expensive things in, in invading. Um, but I actually think I'm going to leave it there for now. And uh, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. And uh, I'm going to see you soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.